Oh, hello and welcome back. Now, something a bit different this week. Um, last week, it was uh, a bit different for me. I decided to go out and shoot something which I haven't shown on this channel before, which is urban photography. It's not street photography. I don't like uh, shooting people, obviously. And I decided to go to a location which is familiar to me and for a very special reason on this occasion. It was actually the, uh, the day that I started work 40 years ago. So my 40th work anniversary. Um, yeah, happy memories of that first day at work as a, a very young, uh, fresh-faced, uh, recruited apprentice to uh, the railways, where I spent 10 happy years uh, working my way up through various jobs before I left. Anyway, back to the important bit, uh, the photography. Now, I decided on this day I wanted to keep things as simple as possible because I do that when I'm shooting in urban environments, and I took with me just a single uh, Nikon FE and two prime lenses, a 35mm 2.8 and an 85mm f2, both manual focus uh, AI lenses from the, the mid-70s, and I had with me a yellow filter, which was used on all of the shots you're going to see here. I also had my, uh, my Konica Pearl, which I'm demonstrating here, which is actually not here, obviously, because it's gone off for uh, repairs, as you'll see in this video. Now, this is uh, something I want to sort of do more of in the future on these videos. And uh, so hopefully this will be uh, an interesting trial run. Uh, if it works out well, obviously I'll record more. I'm a little bit self-conscious around cities, uh, talking to myself, but as it turned out on this occasion, my GoPro played up and I wasn't able to record any audio. So that made it a little bit easier, and a bit less embarrassing. Now all good trips start with a strong coffee, obviously. So uh, having had that, I made my way up through Liverpool city centre, fairly deserted because it was midweek and there's still uh, restrictions around and there's not many people going to work. Some of my old haunts, which uh, yes, memories of uh, days gone by, happy days, up through the bombed out church and then made my way up to the top of town where ultimately I was going to do the majority of my shooting, which is around the the old Catholic, not the old Catholic cathedral, the new Catholic cathedral, the old Catholic, uh, the old cathedral is the Anglican. So I find this area fantastic for the architectural type work. It's so graphic, it's so abstract. And I have shot around here a number of times before, usually with 35 millimeter equipment. The images here, as you can see, they're, uh, they're very striking, uh, very easy to take as well, because they, it's just made for photography. I love the the shapes and the forms, there's curves, the straight lines, there's intersections, there's all sorts going on. So I was able to just take my time because very few people around. Um, thing as well, I don't use a preview device when I'm working in these situations. I just look through the viewfinder of whatever camera I've got and I use my legs to move around, which is why I predominantly use fixed uh, lenses. This one here was taken with the 85 millimeter, allows you to really crop in and you know, sort of get yourself away from all that extraneous detail. And it's just a case of, of looking, constantly looking. I mean, I spent over two hours just walking round and round as the light changed. I mean, you've got to change your position, your focal length, you know, your angles. If it doesn't look good, as you can see here, oh, hello, spotted something. That's the, the bell tower, which looked good from this angle. So yeah, put the 85 millimeter on. The yellow filter helps the sky greatly there. It uh, gives it some, some tone, which makes it easy to print. And working around from the other side, I've got a complementary image. Those two could work quite well together as a, as a sort of diptych. So very, very easy for me to line up shots. I mean, I took a number here, but oddly enough, they didn't really work out particularly well. Now, here's the Konica Pearl, the new camera. And uh, I'm going to ask you something about that later instead of a bit of a, a competition. And I took a number of images of that, but I did have some problems, more of which later, and you can see some issues with this shot here. But it was it was interesting comparison with the 35 millimeter camera, a totally different shooting experience. Now it's very bright, which for me really made uh, made it made it a good shoot because the you can see the shadows here and the intersections and the patterns. Everything is more more abstract uh, in this condition in this lighting. It's much more for me interesting than if it was a dull day. Um, now I was just focused with one lens for maybe 20 minutes, half an hour and work up to a shot like this. Uh, and I probably took about five or six here before I got the one I wanted at the right angle with the right lighting. And then I may switch to uh, one of the other lenses, sorry, the other lens, um, trying out various shots here, masking out the sun, obviously, just to make sure that, uh, you know, you weren't getting flare on the lens. 
there's a long one there. Would have been better, I think, with an even longer lens. But I do love the uh, the, the the shapes. You've got lots of sort of triangles in there and, uh, and rectangles. But uh, back to the cathedral, which was the main the main point of the shoot today. Now I must have been round probably about four or five times before I revisited this particular scene with the 85 millimeter and cropped in. Uh, again, very abstract. It could be anything. And uh, very little processing with these images, I must state. This is HP5+, Plus, by the way, rated at 250 and developed in Perceptol. More of that later. Um, and I was getting my eye in as the day went on. And it's, it's probably no surprise that the majority of the images I've presented here were taken in the second half of the shoot. Uh, it took me a while to get my eye in. I particularly like this one, and I've uh, got a print of this later coming up. Proper print. Um, yeah, it's, it's one of those locations which... Yeah, okay, you can shoot it as a full building, uh, as I have here, but to me that's like, wow, it's a cathedral. Ah, it's pleasant enough, it's a lovely uh, piece of architecture, but it doesn't doesn't really do it for me. I'm not uh, thrilled by that. Um, I worked my way underneath the structure, wasn't really getting it here. It's uh, it, And as you get away, look, it's very weak now. Everything's uh, sort of muddled. So I worked my way through the university grounds, uh, and there's another building I absolutely love, and it's no surprise I've shot this a number of times before. The the architecture here, the sort of the the, the deducting, the the face of the building, uh, it's been made very very attractive for photography. It's almost like fish scales here, um, and of course they'll catch the light um, depending on the, the time of day in a completely different manner. So you know, again, this is very abstract. This is the sort of thing I absolutely love shooting. Uh, you can shoot it again with any focal length, but that was the 85. Cropped right in, cuts out all that unnecessary detail. So yes, oh yeah, here's my old, my old haunt where I started my working life. And uh, yeah, very, very enjoyable, as I say. This is St George's Hall, fantastic piece of architecture, used in loads of films. It was in War of the Worlds recently, the new adaptation, very poor adaptation. Uh, this is down the front, the waterfront. Now, I won't cover anything here on the waterfront because it's, uh, it's not perfect light for it and I'll do it on a separate shoot. You could literally spend a lifetime shooting round the waterfront in Liverpool. It, it's so it's so dramatic, really. The architecture is beautiful. Another pit stop, which was uh, you know a COVID pit stop, so that's hand sanitizer and coffee. Here's the beautiful Pearl, which I have an auxiliary rangefinder on because my rangefinder is quite a bit out at the moment, so uh, more of that later. Um, working my way back through the town centre, up towards the town hall. Again, side streets, architecture, uh, urban, sort of graffiti, which, which makes fantastic uh, shooting and it changes all the time. So every time you go back, somebody's done something different. Paul McCartney going for his lunch. And basically we're walking around for probably about six or seven miles. So good exercise, if nothing else. It's, uh, oh, I went to that exhibition uh, two days later. Yeah, uh, Linda McCartney, yeah, bit of a theme here. Uh, St George's Hall again, yeah, beautiful columns and architecture. Have shot it many times before wasn't overwhelmed um, on this occasion by the lighting. Uh, another one with the pearl, the Konica pearl. Um, yeah, interesting actually. It's not great, but uh, I'll have more of that. Yes, interesting bar um, pubs, which have been left isolated by the demolition work. And uh, coming up here to one of the last shots I took on the day with the Konica, obviously with color film here. Um, yeah, I had some issues with this camera, shall we say. Um, which prevented me getting the shots I really wanted, which I didn't know about till later. But I did realise it was playing up and I do know it needs a service. So where did I end up for the day? I ended up at Newton Ellis, where I dropped the camera in for a full CLA and a look at some of those problems which I encountered on the day, which included the, the rangefinder. The rangefinder is out. It's probably out by a, a large margin, which is why I was using the auxiliary one. And also, I did notice some shutter lag going on in there. When I was shooting, I thought, this isn't quite right. And as it turns out, only about five or six of the 16 shots came out okay, which is annoying because the previous test rolls I've done were perfect. So it's obviously got some issues. And I've got a little uh, ticket for an estimate of £115 to have it fully serviced, repaired, etc. So I'm waiting for that back. It may be a few weeks. Um, but yeah, quite happy with the, uh, with the service I get there, obviously, as I mentioned before. Now... What was interesting was the architecture up by the cathedral. Now, I didn't just settle for the digital images you saw there. They're all digital shots, by the way. They're all uh, scanned with my Epson V700, very low resolution and a little bit of processing. 
I decided to go into the dark room and I've made some lift prints of some of my favourite ones. This is the first one. Uh, this is some of the uh, the early the earlier shots taken with the I think that's the possibly the thirty five millimeter. And again, it's very graphic. There's lovely uh, lines and shadows and and form in there, which is just exactly what I was after for the day. Uh, another one with the 85 millimeter, a, a longer shot. And I've got a couple of these for sale, by the way, surprisingly. Uh, not many copies made because lift printing is a bit more uh, a bit more tricky to get consistency. Another one here. This is a lift print, but it looks very much like a traditional black and white print. Very graphic on a, a very, uh, very rare paper. That's quite nice. But I also made uh, a couple of bigger ones uh, because I liked, I liked what I was seeing. Uh, with the shots, the digital shots. So I've made a 16 by 12, a few few bigger 16 by 12s of that one on a resin paper, because I'm out of fibre at the moment in the larger size. And finally, as a, as a giveaway, I feel a bit mean because a few weeks ago when I did the Konica Pearl uh, video and also the Guess the Camera, I said I'd give away a 16 by 20. Nobody guessed the camera right, uh, so I didn't give anything away and I never give anything away, which is wrong. So I have made a 16 by 20, well, the paper's 16 by 20 anyway, uh, with a nice two inch board around it of one of my favorite shots from the 35 millimeter HP 5 plus. And I'll give that to anybody or the nearest guess as to the shot you saw, I'll bring it up on screen here, the shot you saw of the, uh, the graphic, the, the graffiti, the mural with the bicycles above the lady's head, that was shot with the Konica Pearl. But can you tell me what the film was, what the shutter speed and the f-stop were? Now, one guess only, please. So you might say something like, uh, it was shot with Velvia at one th uh, four thousandth of a second uh, at f2.8, which it wasn't, obviously. Uh, so yeah, so the film, the shutter speed and the f-stop. Just one guess only, please. Nearest one wins. If uh, two or three of you or more get it right, I'll just uh, randomize and choose one of them. And I'll send you this, uh, this print uh, taken with the 35 millimeter camera, send it off for free. Would love to send you one taken with the pearl, but there's none good enough to actually justify that. So you'll have to settle for a 35 millimeter darkroom print. So have a go at that anyway. But yes, it was an interesting uh, wander around the city. I enjoyed it tremendously, uh, as I do with urban photography, because the variety is, is so much more than if you're shooting in a landscape where you're fairly fixed as to what you're shooting. The equipment, I can't fault it. You know, a couple of, couple of prime lenses. 35 and 85 might be nice to have a longer one next time maybe the 135 or the 200 just to isolate some of those those distant uh, rooftops and the shapes just to really crop out all that unnecessary detail because you find with shooting around uh, the likes of cities and architecture the wide angles uh, can include too much it can make it more confusing rather than less confusing so uh, yes uh, one final thing i need to mention is uh, and I'll probably bring this up on another video to do with printing these images, is I did overdevelop the film, the HP 5 Plus. I diluted the Perceptol at uh, one, to, 1 to 1, I think. Is it 1 to 1? Yeah, 1 to 1 instead of 1 to 2, which means they were overdeveloped, which means the skies were a bit dense, which made it a bit difficult to print, but I'll cover that in a future video. Uh, that's the problem when you're constantly chopping and changing your film, developing. It's easy to make mistakes, but it didn't ruin the film. Good thing about black and white, tons of latitude in there still works, still look really good, so yes. So anyway, uh, enough from me. I hope you enjoyed this uh, this different outing. It's not, uh, not landscape for the first time, but uh, still the same sort of thing. It's still all about light, shape, composition, and uh, getting your eye in on a scene. So uh, hopefully there'll be more of this to come. If it's interesting, uh, just let me know. So again, thanks for watching. See you again soon.